Happy Ash Wednesday, people. That's a microphone. You guys know I don't pay too much attention in these videos to what's going on as far as the uh, spacing of the camera. Herman, my videographer, would tell me I need to do better, and he's probably right. We've got the Constitution right here. We're going to talk Constitution today on this episode of Simple Christian Wisdom. I'm just going to pull out a part, read it to you, and we're going to discuss it. Article 3, Section 1. Let's find out what's Article 3, Section 1 of the United States Constitution. The judicial power of the United States shall be vested in one Supreme Court, and in such inferior courts as the Congress may from time to time ordain and establish. State courts, city courts, and so forth. The judges, both of the supreme and inferior courts, shall hold their offices during good behavior, capital B, and shall at stated times receive for their services a compensation, due payment, which shall not be diminished during their continuance, their service, in office. Section 2. The judicial power shall extend to all cases in law and equity arising under this Constitution, the laws of the United States, and treaties made or which shall be made under their authority, to all cases affecting ambassadors, other public ministers, and councils, to all cases of admiralty and maritime jurisdiction, to controversies to which the United States shall be a party, to controversies between two or more states, for example, between a state and citizens of another state. Keep in mind, this was written at a time of the colonies, and why is it mentioning maritime? There was quite a lot of travel going on by boat, commerce, etc., but I digress. Between citizens of different states, between citizens of the same states claiming lands under grants of different states, and between a state or the citizens thereof, foreign states, all examples of who could go to court against who or vice versa. In all cases affecting ambassadors, other public ministers and councils, and those in which a state shall be a party, the Supreme Court shall have original jurisdiction. In all the other cases before mentioned, the Supreme Court shall have appellate jurisdiction, both as to the law and fact, with such exceptions and under such regulations as Congress shall make. The trial of all crimes, except in cases of impeachment, shall be by jury and such trial shall be held in the state where the said crime shall have been committed. But when not committed within any state, the trial shall be at such place or places as the Congress may by law have directed. What's the central theme in this reading today? Authority. And I want to talk to you briefly about how we can understand authority without becoming corrupted by the sense of our subservience subservience, excuse me, or obedience to said authority. See, earlier today I was listening to the Duck Dynasty podcast guys, Jace and Al and Phil and all that, and they talked about this biblical passage that so many people struggle with where it says, wives shall submit to their husbands, but many churches, many people take that into context in the modern dialogue and say, wait a minute, I thought men and women are equal. Yes, of course they are. God directs us, men and women, to understand that equality, but through a perspective which most humans in the modern era cannot appreciate. I don't have enough time to dive into that conversation, perhaps in a later brief video, but today let's talk the authority of God, the authority of the United States, our federal government, but also the authority of the individual citizen. How are these things connected? God has given us each a soul. God has given us each the ability to grow, to develop, to come to know His love through His Son, Jesus Christ. The United States government operates in such a way to allow for services necessary to society to function, to be available to us. The private citizen should do his or her best to demonstrate qualities becoming of a good person, a human being that cares for his or her neighbors. So authority is not something to fear or shy away from. Be a leader and practice humility in your marriage and in your country. 